हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व वन वेरी ब्यूटीफुल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम टी आई एफ आर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज ऑल अबाउट द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ स्पिन हाफ पार्टिकल विद द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड लेट सी हाउ वी विल अप्रोच दिस वन एंड यू इफ यू विल सी दैट वेन यू विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव ऑल ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स कैन बी देयर so let's try to go for the first question so it is given that consider an electron of mass m e and charge is negative e and a spin half particle whose spin angular momentum is given by s h cut by 2 sigma obviously this sigma is poly spin matrix because we are talking about the spin half particle and this electron is placed in a magnetic field and this magnetic field is not only in one particular direction rather it has all the component bx by and bz which all are non vanishing so this is given so it is given at t is equal to 0 the electron is at rest in the sz s h cut by 2 sigma state so it is rest in a sz state so it is given at time t is equal to 0 and it is and they have asked that earlier time when the state of a spin will orthogonal to initial state what should be that so first option is infinity the second option is 2 me ge mod b four option is 4 me ge mod b and last one is dependent on the direction of magnetic field b so this is the question let's try to solve this problem step by step so you have to keep patience because every step is very important and very insightful so let's try to go for this particular problem so what we have if you want to see the time evolution what you have to do you have to first write the hamiltonian of a system so we all know that the hamiltonian of a system h can be given by so this h is basically minus mu dot b and for the spin half particle we can write this b as g e upon 2m s dot b and this minus sign will be absorbed with the negative sign of e so this is particular thing now i can write this particular s as g e h cut by 2m by 2 this is h cut by 2 sigma dot b so the whole idea is that if we can get the eigen state and the eigen value of sigma dot b then we can solve this problem very easily so let's try to go for what is this sigma dot b so when we will go for sigma dot b and if you will solve this problem into cartesian coordinate then you will trapped in a very a messy calculation so what you have to do you have to just go into one very beautiful aspect of spin half particle that is all about sigma dot n cap so i have to introduce n cap in my calculation so how i will introduce n cap what i will do i will just put this magnetic field mag magnitude here divide it and i can also just go with this just multiply with mod of b and uh, divide with mod of b so what will happen this will some arbitrary direction some unit vector so what we i have i have g e h cut upon 4 m into mod b and this value is equal to sigma dot n cap so this is very interesting and here for the simplicity i am just putting this value is e not so this value is e not sigma dot n cap so this is my hamiltonian now i have to find the eigen value and eigen vector of sigma dot n cap so what is my sigma my sigma is basically sigma x i cap sigma y j cap sigma z k cap and i know what is my sigma x sigma y sigma x sigma x is all about 0 1 1 0 sigma y is all about 0 minus i i 0 and sigma z is all about 1 0 0 minus 1 
and what is my n cap so if i will get n cap then this n cap i can write uh, in a polar coordinate because we are just talking about the rotational symmetry so i have to write this n cap in a polar coordinate so if i will write this n cap in a polar coordinate that will be sin theta cos phi i cap plus sin theta sin phi j cap plus cos theta k cap and if we will calculate sigma dot n cap that is nothing but a very beautiful unitary matrix and that value is cos theta and exponential minus i phi sin theta and here is exponential i phi and again this is sin theta and this value is minus cos theta so you can easily calculate this thing i dot i is 1 j dot j is 1 k dot k is 1 and you can get this particular value so this is your sigma dot n cap and what is the eigen value of sigma dot n cap that sigma dot n cap has this is unitary matrix we all know the eigen value is plus 1 and minus 1 so eigen value is plus 1 and minus 1 obviously we have to introduce if we are talking about hamiltonian then obviously the eigen value is minus plus e naught as well as minus e naught so this is your eigen value now we have to calculate the eigen vector so we can easily find the eigen vector towards plus e naught and minus e naught so i can write that will be phi in plus n cap direction so the notation is very important so let's try to go for let's try to go for second slide then we can easily write each and everything so what i have i have my e naught the eigen value and this value is equal to the corresponding to this my eigen value is phi n cap plus and this value is equal to cos theta by 2 e to the power or exponential minus i phi by 2 and this will be sin theta by 2 and this is exponential i phi by 2 so this is my phi n cap and similarly we can get phi n minus and this value is equal to minus sin theta by 2 exponential minus i phi by 2 and this value is equal to cos theta by 2 and exponential i phi by 2 actually this is the part of uh, theory so these all things are given into your textbook so you have to remember all this thing otherwise it will be very difficult so you can directly use this thing now let's start physics so add the t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 my state is phi z cap plus 1 that is 1 0 so what i can do i can write this phi z cap plus in a basis of phi n plus and phi n minus so if you will write this particular thing then phi z cap plus is basically we can write in a basis and when we will go to write in a basis that value is equal to cos theta by 2 exponential i phi by 2 and here we will go for phi n cap plus plus sin theta by 2 exponential and this will be minus sign rather so this will be minus sign exponential minus i phi by 2 and we have phi n cap negative so this is the state at t is equal to 0 what will happen after time t after time t we have phi z plus as a function of t the time evolution according to the postulates phi will be there so what we have we have cos theta by 2 exponential i phi by 2 phi n cap e to the power minus i e naught t upon h cap minus sin theta by 2 exponential minus i 
phi by 2 phi n cap e to the power minus minus plus i e naught t upon h cap now and this is at the t is equal to t so this is at t is equal to t so what is in the problem in the problem it is given phi z plus at t is equal to 0 a scalar product phi z plus at t is equal to t must be equal to 0 so when you will go for this particular thing then what you will get you will get cos square theta by 2 e to the power minus i e naught t upon h cut plus sin square theta by 2 e to the power i e naught t upon h cut that must be equal to 0 it's a very simple these two are orthogonal states so you can get this one now if i have this particular thing then obviously this problem have to be the solution the time have to be as a function of theta so most of the people will i will just go for our first slide where the most of the people will tell that dependent on the direction of magnetic field this is a really mistake now let us read this problem very carefully and here it is given at the time t is equal to 0 the direction is at the electron is at rest in sz so the, here is the catch so what is that particular catch we can go for this so if electron is rest at t is equal to 0 in the quantum mechanics it is next to impossible that you can put anything on a rest it cannot be happen but classically you can say that okay this particle can be rest so what is meaning of that meaning of that when you are talking about at t is equal to 0 if you are if you are going to find the average value of the spin sigma dot n cap that must be 0 and which can be only possible if my cos theta by 2 is equal to sin theta by 2 and when this is going to happen then obviously i can remove this cos square theta by 2 sin square theta by 2 i can take common and what i will get i will get e to the power minus i e naught t upon h cut plus e to the power i e naught t upon h cut must be equal to 0 and from here we can solve the final answer and the final answer will be come up to 2m e g upon mod t so this will be your final answer and the option number i think option number let's option number b is the correct one option number b is correct one so students please try to do this question read this question again and again and try to solve each and every step your spin part will be almost clear every calculation will be there so please do it with yourself thank you